okay we just about to go live just give me a couple of moments okay i believe we are live and uh, a welcome to today's uh, youtube live i hope you are keeping safe and well and everything is okay at your end uh, uh, first of all a very happy easter to you wherever you are in the world so today's session i'm going to uh, set up a, a google display network campaign where i'm going to set up a campaign with uh, about 2441 ad groups the same amount of keywords so one keyword in ad group uh, each ad group will be laid along with the topic as well and we'll have three ads per ad group making it uh, 7323 uh, and the comment box and say yes that you can hear me and see me fine otherwise I'll just be uh, talking to, to who don't know what Google uh, display network is so let me very quickly show you first of all so if I were to go to any um, newspaper like Huffington Post all of these websites are monetized by these uh, ads which Google can place on their um, on their on their website you'll see once it loads up over here this little ad is popping up there's a slight delay on here so that's an ad when somebody clicks on it Adobe will get charged by Google and the publisher which is Huffington Post um, you name it lots of uh, lots of other blogs all are uh, monetized by these ads so I want to be able to place my ads in front of people when they go to Huffington Post now here's the good thing about these ads look this web page has got nothing to do with digital marketing or uh, photoshop or anything like that they are remarketing to me so it's a great way to remarket to your audience as well at zero cost because if i don't click on this ad adobe is going to get free branding now i'm not saying or they may be uh, targeting uh, not by placement but yes for sure in market audience so I'm in that audience who they are looking to target while most or the most of the world is fighting over on the Google page trying to be in front of your, of the audience on the top four ads with the search ads this is where you can get unbelievable amount of traffic show your ad on a certain website or part of that website so in this case let's say if this page on Huffington Post was all about digital marketing then you can keep on targeting that uh, website or web page with your ad the problem with that is it's too narrow um, your your traffic is going to keep on decreasing because fresh new so much new content is being updated every day if you are just targeting by placements let's say you're targeting 100 200 300 websites or urls you are missing out on the new ones where most of the traffic could be going so i find the placements perform really well because you are in front of a person looking at a web page which is about that keyword or topic but as time goes by that page is as on the old news pages the traffic is going to keep going down so eventually it's going to die out and the second thing is 
all the advertisers are trying to get their ads on that same placement so your competition is very high your CPC will be very high but where you can really win is over here and I'm going to show you a very cool way today which very few people know about as to how to uh, leverage this platform so most of them will throw in a few keywords or a couple of few uh, topics or in affinity or in market audiences and they'll start running ads and you find that the thing which you will hear most um, on the GDN is it's a waste of money it doesn't perform and the budget is consumed up uh, very quickly so I will show you where I mean this is just 2400 ad groups or keywords some of the campaigns I've got I've got tens of thousands of ad groups in there and ads so sky's the limit the way you can set this up so what we are going to do is set up a campaign the ninja way the advanced way so as I said earlier on most people will just set up the ad targeting as one either keyword or topic or in market or um, whatever they want to target what we are going to do today is target the audience where there is this intersection in the middle this is where we are narrowing down really really uh, uh, tight so we're not going very broad we are just going in that little intersection although your traffic is going to go down a lot but the quality is going to be there you will get in front of that right audience and you are going to get some great results if you are targeting a local uh, campaign for a local uh, business let's say you're targeting a five mile radius or ten mile radius then this will not work because you are narrowing down too much if you are running a campaign at a national or international level or multiple countries then this is going to work like a treat so let's go on to our spreadsheet okay we have a column first of all for a campaign you put in the name I'm going to come on to that ad group so each ad group is going to have its own unique name but I've got 2400 or I could have 10,000 I'm not going to sit here or if I'm not doing it somebody else sit here and make up these names one by one it's going to take ages so I'm going to show you how we make these up in a second all you do is download your set of keywords from your Google Ads um, keyword planner and import or make one column with all these so in this case we are targeting a fitness uh, gym where we've got all these um, aerobics and Pilates and Zumba classes and all of these kind of keywords right so I've got 2400 I believe yeah there you go it's about 20 yeah 2440 odd then you go to the topic category and pick up a topic so I've picked up a to topic of weight loss now there are over 2200 categories of topics in Google uh, Google Ads so you can I'm sure whichever uh, vertical or niche you're in you will find the topic so now we go I'm going to um, copy this put this here so everybody can see it make it a bit bigger so that is the formula so T is the topic and K is the keyword so if you were doing keyword plus in market then the T would be I am so I know I mean you can name it however you like but that's what I'm doing so topic 
equals to whatever is in the cell E2 and keyword equals to whatever is in the cell C2 and it's going to make up that formula. So let's have a look. I'll enlarge this screen up a bit for you guys. Okay. So I've got T is um, weight loss and K is kettlebell right so I've got this one over here where I put in a separate common just for the topic as as the name once you've done one and you copy that it's going to copy all of these because you you've put in your keywords in here so I can delete all of these it really doesn't matter see just click off a couple of button clicks and it has put in weight loss equals to Zumba weight loss equals to aerobics and so on they're all filled up now the only way we can have one ad group with the two same names is if you've got multiple keywords in if by accident or when you're uploading or downloading so just uh, filter out your keywords to make sure that they are not duplicates in here and even if they are duplicates when we go into editor it's going to uh, ignore it because you it won't allow you to put in two ad groups with the same name so it's all done and we are pretty much ready to rock and roll all I do now is copy the whole lot now whether you got 20 200 2000 or 20,000 rows it really doesn't matter copy and pasting it takes the same amount of time now we've got each ad group with a keyword and a topic and then we run it see which ones are working which ones are expensive the ones which are expensive you just keep pausing them and out of these 2400 odd key uh, ad groups I would say maybe 50 to 80 or 100 will work the rest of them will not work so then eventually they will all be uh, shut down that's my personal experience is the 80 20 20 percent of uh, ad groups or keywords will give you 80% of the results right so at least we try and we know that we haven't missed out on anything so I copied that let me first make up the campaign first of all in ad groups so I'm gonna go there create a new campaign make the new name and the campaign type is display I'll just put in one pound budget okay then I'll go here uh, da, 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 da. I'm gonna go at the keyword level and I'm gonna make multiple changes my data includes yes paste campaign ad group keyword are uh, all updating It'll take a couple of moments. Okay. So you skip one keyword. It could be, I'm not going to worry about too much, but the important thing is one ad group, one keyword. That's it. Finish. And now I can see on the left hand side over here where my mouse is 24. 41 ad groups 24 41 keywords so these are all uploaded each ad group is with its own keyword now I need to go and put in the topic I go in the topic make multiple changes 
paste keyword we are not importing right now topic we are okay and it is not importing it always happens when we go live I've been working before uploading and do, um, creating other campaigns and was working fine and it isn't working right now ah I know why because I had not changed the destination that's why my mistake so let it come out of it if you have any questions in the meantime just ping it in the uh, chat box and I'm gonna try and cancel this okay whilst this is trying to sort itself out Pranub you're asking how to target a particular keyword is the CPC the same as search ads not at all the CPCs are a lot cheaper on the on the display network it it really is um, so the keywords I've just shown you uh, how to target and over here we've got all these keywords uh, which we are, are targeting on the display network so this is not behaving okay uh, da, 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 da. okay I might have to for ah it's done it now okay okay what you meaning to how to target a particular website yeah you do that by putting in a in a placement so instead of targeting with the keywords you will be putting in the in the URLs under the placement for in the display network and that's how you will be doing that okay I'm just gonna cancel this and I'll do it another way but what I'm trying to show you is how easy this is to upload literally hundreds and thousands of um, ad groups in uh, in very little time unfortunately um, <laughs> editor is not behaving right now so um, I can't do much about it as to why this is not importing but it works seamlessly every time okay um, Nick I missed the start of this yes Nick this will this is all being recorded and will be uh, live soon after this session is finished so you can watch it um, I know it was the extent of your course um, I'm not selling anything over here I'm showing you everything pretty much which I know I do have courses but I'm not here to sell anything um, every weekday I'm here at 5 o'clock UK time and you can join in ask me any questions you like um, the reason I'm here is to help as many uh, people as I possibly can so that when we come out of this situation you guys have upped your game you know a little bit increased your but this is not going to continue forever hopefully very soon we will come out of this and things will start to go back no to go back to normal and when we do reach that point that's when you need to be way above your competitors with your own skill sets your own marketing and clean up pretty much and take your business to the next level 
Um, okay, uh, now let's go on to the ash first and then that might do the trick. Okay, then you've got all these ads over here on the left hand side, right? I'm going to upload image ads. Add images. Okay. Now I can pick up multiple images as well, or I can pick up one image. So I've got these 300 by 250 ads, right? So I'm not um, uploading all at the same time. Usually I will just select five or 10 key uh, ads and upload it. But because the editor right now, for some reason is not behaving, now it is. It has added 2400 now imagine trying to upload so many ads through the interface it's pretty impossible well you can it's going to take you days i'm getting a bit of a, a error message i need to put in the display so i selected all the ads uh, okay select all the ads and then i put in my website address and the final URL. And now it will be, oops, I didn't up select all of them. Now I'm going to come to your uh, question about exclusions. Uh, who has asked that exclude specific website I miss? Yes, it's a great question and I'm going to come on to that in a second because this is the only way you can exclude um, apps, especially from here. All these ads have been now put up with the display and the final URL, right? And I can do the same thing. Uh, I'll try another couple of ads select them and upload so you need to create the right size as per the Google's um, guidelines otherwise they will be rejected so if the if the size is not right you will not be able to upload or it will probably won't allow you to upload from here now I've got 4882 ads boom they're all gone up well they haven't gone to the interface yet but they've all been um, set up. I'm going to keep them. Now, in here, under the targeting, see this mobile app categories, app categories negatives. I go in here, make multiple changes. Oops, sorry, not there. Um, add mobile category at campaign level or at ad group level. I want to exclude at campaign level. You can choose Apple, Google or whichever. I'm going to go all. Now the whole campaign has excluded all the app categories in one go. And you can do the same thing with if you've got a list of YouTube channels which are about kids where you know that you are going to waste money, you can either put up on uh, put up here as well or as placement negatives. So if you would like to add a campaign level negative, let's say you don't want to run this on CNN and you've got a long list of um, placements which are you know, junky and spammy websites or URLs. You can either put them at one at a time or you can copy and paste them from a spreadsheet all from here in a matter of seconds. And that's how quick it is to uh, set up your uh, Google Display Network campaigns. Now, I'm going to try one more time. I'll try something differently. Okay, so I search for that category. 
and now I should see topic two th edit 2441 times so that means I've got 2441 ad groups 2441 keywords and 2441 um, topics so they're all set up now all I need to do is to post it now I'm not going to post it because it's going to start uh, eating up the bandwidth and slow down the YouTube live but that's how easy it is to set up a campaign the the key to this is the editor you've got to learn this if you want to take your Google Ads to the next level this is the key hardly anybody knows it hardly anybody uh, knows how to use it so I would say learn how to use the Google Ads editor and then you can be as creative as you like so I uh, hope I've answered everybody's uh, questions if you have any please pop in the box now before I switch off for today uh, or you can come back tomorrow and ask me some more questions so thank you Nick for your comment Amish I hope uh, I've explained how you exclu exclude your uh, placements and apps you can include or exclude whatever uh, you like you know, as per your for your campaign so that's it uh, ladies and gents for uh, today's sessions I hope you enjoyed it if you uh, I'd appreciate very much if you would just put in a little um, comment below uh, like and share this uh, video and and spread the word so that's it for now I'll see you tomorrow same time at um, five o'clock I think I'm tomorrow session I'm going to focus on s setting up uh, conversion tracking as to what types and the path to a conversion it's, it's very complicated most people what they want to do is to set up a campaign and get, want to get conversions the next day it doesn't work like that anymore because your customers are going all over the place and you need to hit them in each and every place wherever they go so I'll I'll focus on on that uh, tomorrow but if you have any uh, questions please email it to me at info at sfdigital.co.uk and I'll answer them for you thanks for being with me and God bless stay safe and I'll see you tomorrow bye for now